Good afternoon, Keith Tebow from FRC Media. Thank you for joining us today. You know, ever since um, COVID hit our region and our country and our world, uh, we've talked a lot about economic development um, in Fall River, how the pandemic has impacted um, economic development and just retail in general and business in Fall River. Uh, but I want to take a little different focus today in, in, I guess, not just talking about how COVID has impacted a section of our city business-wise, but also moving forward in terms of how we can grow and develop um, our business uh, climate here in Fall River. We're going to talk about the Transformative Development Initiative, or TDI, a TDI partnership here in Fall River that's focusing on uh, downtown Fall River, primarily you know South Main Street uh, from like Columbia and Rodman down to uh, Government Center. And I'm pleased to be joined by uh, two individuals today. Jim McKeague, who is the TDI fellow for uh, this initiative here in Fall River. We'll talk about what TDI is, as well as Patty Rigo. And she uh, runs We Love Fall River. Some of you may have seen We Love Fall River on social media. And she's also helping with the marketing efforts of the uh, partnership. Uh, Jim and Patty, thank you for joining me today. How are you? I'm sorry, I had you muted there. How are you today? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? <laughs> thank you for having thank us. You for, thank you. I actually want to start with 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 Jim. Jim, talk a little bit about what the um, what TDI is, the Transformative Development Initiative, and how did it come to embrace and working with Fall River in terms of one of its uh, one of its projects? Yeah, sure thing. Um, so thank you for for having me, Keith. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to meet all of you. Um, so the Transformative Development Initiative is a program that started in 2014, um, didn't uh, actually hit the streets until um, at least a year after that. Um, and it is, it's, we like to, to say it's an accelerator program for the commercial districts and gateway cities. And, um, you know, we, we work uh, to layer in kind of a, a number of different investments um, within the context of a, of a focused geographic um, area. And we do the work in conjunction with the community. So we're not coming in and, and, and sort of telling what the community uh, you know, needs to do or has to do. We're, we're, we're really trying to listen to the community um, and, and you know, prioritize the work that um, that they've identified and 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 move that forward in some in some key ways. So you know the the range of work that we do um, kind of really spans um, you know everything that you you think about sort of what makes a place great. Um, we try to address that in some ways. So um, you know we do a lot around uh, public art. We find um, you know art and, and culture are really effective ways of engaging the community and getting people involved. Um, we work a lot with small businesses and, and try to provide a lot of, of small business support services. Um, we do uh, you know, some real estate development work. We are also able to um, really you know, mobilize the, the rest of our agency. So as the Economic Development Agency, Mass Development, um, you know, we have uh, a lot of finance programs. We have a lot of uh, real estate programs, community development programs. So, you know, we really try to activate um, everything that we have in-house, as well as, you know, working with, um, you know, other state and regional uh, partners and even national partners um, on, on, you know, bringing some of this, this, this work forward. So we started in Fall River, uh, we started working in Fall River in, in, in 2018. Um, when they had submitted an application, and we don't we don't open it up um, every year. It's a it is a competitive program, so gateway cities can apply, and then they are brought into the program, um, you know, on on a case by case basis, and um, and so in 2018 we started working with with uh, the the partners in Fall River, and just so you know, a partnership, uh, we do have some requirements around that. Is that they they need to be. Um, there needs to be a municipal partner, there needs to be an economic development partner, and there needs to be a private sector partner. Um, in Fall River, we have, uh, you know, we've, we've expanded beyond that. Um, so we started working with the partnership in 2018, and then in 2019, they were officially brought into uh, the program. Um, so I'm just going to quickly uh, list, you know, who's, who's on the partnership. Um, it's Alexander's Boutique, which many of you are familiar with, Bank 5, Bay Coast Bank, the Business Innovation Center. Um, the City of Fall River, of course, Corky Road Neighborhood Association, 
um, Entrepreneurship for All, um, or E for All as they're as they're known, Fall River Pond Brokers, JRI, One South Coast Chamber, People Incorporated, Rockland Trust, Sear Jobs for Progress, uh, South Coast Community Foundation, and of course, uh, we love Fall River. And mm. You know, when when we say a partner, um, these are the folks who uh, you know we we've asked into the partnership, or who are who are you know working within this sort of core group, um, and are bringing you know resources to the table um, in in some key ways. So um, you know whether it's uh, staff time or you know financial contributions or workspace, um, you know these organizations are the ones that are are contributing some significant. Um, you know, contribution uh, to to the TDI effort to kind of keep it going. Um, but we work with a, a whole slew of other community partners uh, as as well. Um, so you know, we do we do work in several different um, areas, um, in in and I can get into that a little bit um, unless you want to uh, you want me to jump into some of the things we're actually doing in Fall River. Yeah, yeah. Well, first, before we do that, why? How was it determined that in that downtown stretch? Of, of businesses um, is going to be the focus of, of this effort. How did that come about? Great question. So um, when when a municipality applies to the program, they have to identify the area that they want to focus on. So again, that's not something we choose as a program. It's something that the the partners choose. So that was chosen, um, you know, in in the initial application um, that came in from from the city and. Uh, you know, so they identify the the geography, and they they um, you know identify some of the the priorities that they want to work on within within that geography. All right, so let's get into a little bit about some of the work that's that's been done. You know, obviously prior to COVID, since this this uh, as you say this initiative started about two years ago um, with with the city. Um, what what types of initiatives have been undertaken? I'm sure there's been a lot of um, and and I, I was invited to join a, a dialogue with with some of these partners just last week uh, that you mm -hmm. held the conversations about what's going on with the partnership and things moving forward. But what types of initiatives have been discussed, uh, maybe specifically in Fall River, um, in terms of priorities, interests, concerns of some of those uh, business partners within that that stretch of Fall River downtown? Sure, um, and Patty can join in here too. Um, sure. So we 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 you know uh, one one of the the things we did early on is um, you know try to meet with the 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 small business community and um, certainly listening to you know a lot of the partners' concerns um, was you know how can we activate the district and you know bring more people downtown. Um, so getting people to think. You know less about um, you know coming downtown as sort of a, 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 a destination for a particular location, right? You know I'm coming down here to you know go to Alexandra's or I'm coming down to go to you know this other location, but to really think about it um, as a district, as a place that you would want to come and and um, you know you might not have a, a particular agenda, um, you know, but there's there's a lot going on and there's a lot to do. Um, you know, it's it's sort of a, a vibrant neighborhood. So you know really. Uh, how, you know, how do you put a vision together around around that neighborhood? And so, um, you know, and so early on, um, you know, the focus was on having, you know, more people living downtown, having uh, more businesses open up downtown. Um, there was a lot of focus on uh, cleanliness and, and quality of life. Um, so, you know, these were some of the things that that we started, um, you know, trying to work on early on in, in the process. Um, one of the things that was clear to us was, just the uh, enormous um, potential within the physical environment. So creating a lot of, uh, you know, physical improvements and, and incentivizing, you know, some of our partners in, in the businesses on the street, um, you know, to, to invest in, uh, in the physical appearance of, of, of the street. So whether that's storefront improvements, um, streetscape improvements, um, you know, there's there's a number of things that 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 uh, that could be done. Um, you know, just cleaning up the the area and then and then addressing some. You know, as I said, some of the the, the some of the deeper concerns um, that that may exist there as well. Um, so we started working on some of those projects um, uh, in in different ways. One is um, is in you know trying to build off of the the existing successes. Um, you know, so one of the things that the South Main District has is uh, some very successful, you know, retail establishments, Alexander's Boutique uh, being one of them, TJ's Music, 
Um, there's there's a lot going on around that Columbia Square um, area. There's also a lot going on around you know the other end of the district towards Government Center. Um, you have a lot of office space there. You have a lot of employees. Um, one thing that we heard you know people wanted more of was um, you know some outdoor activities and dining. Um, so these were some of the things that we we started working on um, with with some small projects, uh, the, the pop-up location, which was uh, originally uh, established in order to, to hold some, some uh, periodic events. Uh, the first one we did was around Valentine's Day and Patty uh, contributed enormously to that. And she was, uh, she was the brainchild for that one. Um, and then uh, also just as a place to, to engage people and eventually we wanted to turn that um, into sort of a, a, a promotional uh, location for the district where, you know, businesses could come and, um, you know, they could uh, find the resources that they needed. They could even use it as um, event space or office space. And, um, and we, could, we could promote the district through, you know, Fall River manufactured goods, Fall River branded goods. Um, and then eventually we were, we were hoping to expand that into um, an actual retail incubator where we could, mm -hmm. um, you know, new businesses that were coming into the district that wanted to try their their hand at, at opening a brick and mortar uh business could uh, could get a leg up now unfortunately we had to to shut that down when COVID hit um we were in the middle of of a of a community engagement um process and in, in doing a community survey um so we're just reimagining what we can do with that space now we actually just did a mural on the side of the building uh this past weekend um, and we're looking to activate, you know, the, the, the space, uh, there, but, you know, when COVID hit too, we, um, you know, we really switched gears. Um, we, we had a number of things planned, uh, you know, that would have allowed, you know, some businesses to, uh, to get some grant money to, you know, make some improvements to their storefronts and, um, and make other business improvements. And we, we just put all that money out on the street as, um, as emergency relief funds, so you know we've we've really been focused on on kind of everything has been focused on on um, really helping small businesses during this 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 time these last few months, um, and we can talk about some uh, some other projects too that we have underway, um, yeah. but but a lot of it um, was was really focused on um, you know the quality of life and the uh, in, in the physical improvements. Patty, do you want to say anything there? I actually, yeah. Let me let me uh, let me ask Patty. Uh, Patty, talk about you know you 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 appear to be someone who's you know um, talking with a lot of the, those businesses that are part of the partnership or those businesses that are on South Main Street. What are you hearing from them in terms of the potential of this um, improving uh, their um, their businesses and you know, the, the quality of life that is uh, potentially happening in downtown Fall River? I think everybody really wants to see, um, to see more people downtown. So, when, I mean, I think, you know, I think a lot, when a lot of people talk about downtown, they used to talk about how, you know, that used to be a destination on the weekends and families would go and there just needs to be more of a concerted effort between the businesses to kind of um, help to improve the overall. It's not just about you and your business now, this is a district. And the more that they that each business can help each other and kind of come together, I think that there people are starting to see, especially when the pandemic hit. I mean, you need the help of your neighbors, you need the help of your community, um, and and that was displayed. We did some food relief efforts downtown, but I mean that's just one way in which people collaborated together. And I think another way we're trying to get people to collaborate together to raise the the um, the optics and to just raise the profile of the district as a downtown district, not just Alexandra's or not just. I go to TJ's, but I go downtown and I'm going to stay and I'm going to have something to eat and, and whatnot. And um, I think one of the things that most important that we're trying to do right now is gain some traction for a downtown small business association. And I think that by giving, by empowering business owners to create these initiatives and, and take a stake in these initiatives, it's going to make them more invested in downtown. So, um, you know, I, I think people see a lot of potential. It's just that first step of getting people to band together. And then we, we, you know, Jim and I, our job is not to, we're not going to be around forever uh, downtown. So we're, our job is to kind of like empower people, give them the tools that they need. Obviously it was a little bit of a hiccup with COVID, but we're right back on track. And um, that meeting that you actually spoke about just a couple minutes ago was the second um, meeting that we had with this small business association. So I can, I see only, great things as people begin to get knowledge 
Uh, the more knowledge that you have, the more inspiration you get, the more empowered you get. And I think that with all of those things will come um, greater success for downtown. It sounds like that that the initiative in some ways is, um, you know, as, as you said, Patty, a, 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 a mechanism to empower the community to, to take the ownership of of not only their business, obviously, but uh, but of that district of that of that region. So let me just ask, and, and, and either one of you, I guess maybe this would be for you, Jim. Um, what is uh, what is the the process of this? How long do, do these initiatives normally uh, stay within the community? Is there like a, a, a timeline that says when X, Y, Z is met, we leave, and now you know it's it's passed on uh, to you? How does that work? Yeah, great question. Um, so you know, the revitalization of, of a district um, take, takes a long time, right? And, and um, you know, and, and different places are sort of on, on, on different, um, you know, different spots along that spectrum of, of uh, you know, redevelopment. You know, some, some folks are, are farther along than, than, than others. And, um, you know, but regardless of sort of where you are, you know, a lot of work has already been done. And, and there's a lot of, of the community partners have already been doing, uh, you know, a tremendous amount of work to kind of, you know, get uh, the district or, or the city to, to you know, that, that, that level. Um, and so, um, you know, we are trying to coalesce, um, you know, some of those efforts in a way um, that they continue on after the program. The program is, is really meant to kind of concentrate resources, um, you know, within a limited time frame. And usually that time frame is about three years. Um, in, in Fall River, um, we, you know, we only were approved for two years uh, for the, the, the district. So, you know, right now, the the district will expire or you know graduate not expire the district will will graduate out um in uh, at the end of june 2021 so it's a pretty short window of time um but you know we we don't just pull out all of our resources either at the same time we we try to you know look for ways to make follow-on investments and uh, we're actually right now um you know working with the the bar foundation to um, you know, create some follow-on arts and culture investments uh, in in cities that have have graduated from the TDI uh, program. Um, one of um, this is actually a good a, a good topic to talk about. Um, you know, some of the important um, aspects of of district revitalization. As I mentioned before, you know, arts and culture you know tend to be a key driver we found in 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 district revitalization it's something that you know not just really engages people but it really enlivens a place it's something that uh you know is attached to every aspect of of life within a, a vibrant uh community and so you know whether it's a small business um you know whether it's events that are going on whether it's promotion and, mm -hmm. and you know, attracting you know new people, um, or whether it's you know just getting you know people who are already uh, in the city and in the district, um, you know to 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 think about and, and act in, in, in new ways. Um, you know, arts and culture is is we we found is, is just an extremely important catalyst, and so um, and so a lot of uh, you know the work that that happens with within arts and culture is beginning to to kind of really uh, build momentum now in, in Fall River. Um, you have the Fall River Arts and Culture Coalition, uh, you know that's been um, you know formed to bring all of these different artists and arts organizations uh, you know together around um, the same table. Um, they are, you know, launching the arts and culture planning process now, and they've, they've hired a, a project manager for that. Um, and then, you know, to think about all of the other, you know, things happening, um, you know, you've got the Fabric Festival and um, you have, you know, DAPMA that's beginning to, to you know, um, pick up some steam in the, in the region. Um, you've got, uh, you know, the, the Fall River Symphony Orchestra and the Children's Museum and, um, you know, the wonderful art gallery over at BCC. And, you know, so there's just a, there's just a lot of, of things that, um, you know, are beginning to take shape around mm -hmm. art and culture. And as those pieces get put into place, we're looking for ways to continue that investment um, after, after, you know, the district graduates from the program. Yeah, Patty, let me, let me ask you in terms of, again, um, those businesses that are that are there and that will continue to be there moving forward. Um, 
is do they have any sort of and I I'm, so Jim's helping with this as well, but I want to get it from your point of view. Is there some sort of vision of what um, they would like downtown to be and look like? You mentioned, and you know, I even remember when I was a little kid, I actually went downtown when there was still a movie theater uh, mm -hmm. downtown. I remember seeing holiday movies uh, there. I mean, is there is there sort of a vision from them? I'm sure many of them are also lifelong Fall Riverites. You know, is there any vision from them about what they'd like that that section of the city to look like? I think we've had some really good um, response to some of the ideas that we've come up with, um, such th that will bring people and keep people downtown. It also just looks makes it more like a main street. So outdoor dining has been um, a big focus. I mean, obviously not just because it it can look great and because it's nice to eat outside, but because it's been a necessity with the pandemic um, and with the, you know, interior restrictions on occupancy. Um, but I mean, I think they, they really like some of the ideas. I think a lot of what we do is, is pe people only dream within a certain, um, within a certain confines. And I think, you know, a lot of times small businesses are just trying to survive. And when we come in with our resources, we're able to say like, let's think big, let's think big together about the things that we can do. So whether it be um, like the parklet that was just created outside of Time Blossom, which a parklet is basically when you take two to three parking spaces, you create an outdoor dining environment, perhaps for a place that did not have an out indoor dining you know, before, just like Time Blossom. And it just creates, I mean, granted it all, it's a couple of tables, but it, cre it just creates a different, sense of place and it gets other people thinking well i would like that as well and then that looks great and i would like to have that too and i think people also talk a lot about um improvements with storefronts um you know the pub they, we've had a lot of great um response to our murals and our public art so i think you know just you know when you when things look better and when people are kind of out that that brings people out on the street and i think they just want to see life coming back downtown again um they're committed to downtown. They want other people to be committed to downtown too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's great to be talking about this. I know for years we've talked about downtown. We've talked about the waterfront in terms of development. It's good that there's activity and at least some, some ideas being floated around. I think there's uh, there's some uh, definitely reasons uh, for optimism and I, and that that's really great to hear for the city. Patty Rigo and uh, Jim McKee, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate your time. And, uh, and good luck with the partnership. We'll, uh, we'll catch up again very soon. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you very you. much. Keith. All right. And thank you for joining us today here on FRC Media. I'm Keith Tebow. Have a great rest of your day.